I'll be showing you over 10 wallbang spots on Bind you didn't know about. Let's get right into it. To do this wallbang, make sure you have a high penetration weapon, as medium penetration won't work. Then, make your way over to garden and line yourself up with this piece of wood on the wall. In the direction of the entrance of hookah. I personally prefer to be on top of the flower box over here, as it's a bit harder to get a nice angle when you're further back and when you're lower. As the floor in hookah is still a bit higher, even if you're standing on top of the flower box. After this, make sure that you're at least shooting at the level of this bar or higher, as otherwise you'll be shooting at their legs or at the ground. Now, to actually get a kill or do some nice chip damage, there's a few ways to do this. You can for example use a tripwire, if you're playing cypher and just wait for them to run into it. Or by playing an agent like Sofa, where you can either set up your teammate by shooting an arrow directly into Hookah, or outside of it. Or by shooting an arrow for yourself, like this. Ahead. Or by throwing a fade reveal. I'll find you. Or if you don't have any utility, do this, or you don't want to use any utility for this. You can also have a teammate sitting in Hookah, either on the left side or the right side and you just wait for them to get contact and then you start spraying the wall. Of course, when you're doing this, make sure that you either have a teammate or some piece of utility covering your behind so that no one's sneaking up along while you're looking the other way. When on attack and pushing into bathroom on bind, it can be quite difficult to push out of bathroom because of this close angle. So it can be quite useful to get rid of this top angle before you do anything else. You can already do this at the very start of the round. Oh, oh. As you could hear by my very excited voice, it's quite possible to get kills with this. If you're trying to do this at the start of the round, first of course make sure that no one's speaking, and afterwards aim between these two wooden bits on the roof, and then aim to the left of it, closer to the left side wall. Then start either tapping your gun or spraying your gun to hit anyone that's up top. You can also use this trick, for example, if you're pushing into bathroom and you hear an ability like a Jedi Draft or an Omen TP being done on side, and you suspect that it might be going up on top of the boxes, to start spamming it from closer. But if you're closer like this, make sure that you don't shoot too high, as otherwise the bullets will just go over them. So aim more in the area of just above the wooden bar over here. Earlier I showed you a way you can use wall banks to defend hookah, but there's also a very specific wall bank spot you can use to take control of hookah. To do this wall bank, you need a high penetration weapon and either ability that can reveal enemies, or a lot of luck. As Sova, you can shoot this simple dart to do this. It's a bit harder, as you can only shoot between these two wooden planks in this area to get through the wall. And the left side of this door. Another one nearby that isn't as useful is this one. It allows you to wallbang anyone in B short, but of course it also works all the other way around. Another wallbang spot not many people know about is in B hall. Most people know that you can wallbang this glass from both sides with medium and high penetration weapons. But with a high penetration weapon there's more you can do. All these lines on the wall are wallbangable with high penetration weapons, including these cracks, allowing you to wallbang people on side. Caught one. Take what's useful. But it only works if you're shooting straight. Even a slight angle will stop the bullets. A spot that's more commonly used is on A-side lamps. You can shoot through an entire wall in lamps with a high penetration weapon. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. But if you only have a medium penetration weapon like a Vandal, you can still shoot through this wall by aiming at this wooden bit over here. Allowing you to get a kill towards short by either shooting at an enemy who's revealed, or by just randomly spamming through the wall. This also works the other way around. As long as you shoot at the height of this feather. You can use the orb in bar from to your advantage to get free chip damage or even kills. Just ping the orb on the map and wait for someone to make the sound cue that they're trying to take it. A trick that not a lot of people know is this one. You just have to set up a sage wall over here in halls, allowing you to get this angle between the buildings, which you can spam through. Allowing you to get early damage at the start of the round from people that are pushing up be short towards Luka. If this wall is set up properly, you can also get an angle towards long. There's another wallbang trick you can try that works really well if you're playing Sage. Even though this corner looks very thick, it's still wall bangable because of this door. Which allows you to shoot into garden from the safety of elbow. The way you can use this to your advantage to get kills is by setting up a stage wall in a way that forces them to break it to get past. But still allows you to wallbang people behind it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing for more content like this, and maybe even watching another video like this one that YouTube recommends to you on the screen.